What's going on everybody? So earlier I made a video talking about how to kind of mount a GoPro on your Avada, but I wanted to make a video on just how to set up your Avada for acro mode, for manual mode, um, and just in general, start to finish, how to actually set this drone up. Because even though it is probably one of the easiest FPV drones to set up, can get a little bit confusing along the way. And there are some settings that kind of do need to know about. Without further ado, I'm gonna plug this drone in and I'm going to start connecting stuff. So first things first is turning your drone on and that's just clicking one and two to turn that on. Obviously my battery is not full, but that doesn't matter right now. So I don't believe this drone is connected to any of this other stuff. So I'm gonna turn my controller on as well. And I'm also going to plug my goggles in, turn them on as well so that we have all of our gear. So anyways, uh, DJI actually has a function that you need to plug in a phone or compatible device to actually use your drone or take off with your drone. I think I found a little bit of a hack for that um, and I can share that in another video if you guys are interested. But for now, we're just gonna follow DJI's instructions and plug in our phone and we are going to go to the DJI Fly app. So first things first is to connect the drone and the goggles. And the link button for the goggles is just right in between the eyelids. I am using the goggles V2 setup, so they are the newer version. I'm not sure if this is where it is in the other ones. These are the only goggles I've used, but it's just this button right in between the eyes and you just click that and hold it. You'll hear it start to beep, and then we will do the same thing with the drone. So click our battery button and just hold it. And you'll hear the drone start to beep. Boom, we're connected. So now we have to connect the <laughs> drone and the controller and you can see the controller is blinking which means it's not connected yet so again the proper way to do it is just to hold the power button and you'll hear it start to beep and then we'll do the same thing on the drone again so hold it and they should link and it's as easy as that. Now we should have full view in our goggles of what our drone is seeing. Obviously, if you're just getting this, you will see the same thing I am seeing. Let me just screen record on my phone really quick so we can see that. We're getting prompted to activate our DJI device. So pretty much just, you're just gonna wanna activate that. And it's going to restart your device. Turn it back on, connecting. It should connect back to everything now that everything is linked. Boom, successfully activated. I do not want care refresh. We are on to this. Um, everything should be connected and we should be ready to fly. Obviously you will get some goggles and compass interferences and stuff like that, but for the most part, you should be able to take this off and go fly. So yeah, first things first though, we are going to change a few settings so we are able to fly in acro mode and switch over to M mode super seamlessly, which will change how you fly FPV because acro mode is the best way to fly, 100%. So I have to do this in the goggles, but you will be able to watch it on the screen. So from here, we're going to, there's a little touch screen here so we can swipe on that. So we're going to swipe that out. We're going to go down to settings. And from here, we're gonna to go to control. And because you connected the remote controller, you should see remote controller. So we're just gonna select that. From here, uh, you're gonna have a lot of options. Obviously, these I think are pretty standard and I'm probably going to keep these ones for now, but we are going to change custom mode and we're gonna change that to manual mode or acro mode. And it's gonna give you a warning because that's kind of a dangerous mode to fly in because you do have to be controlling it the entire time that you're flying. If you don't know what acro mode is, I definitely recommend jumping on a simulator or doing something like that before you do switch your device over to this because it is super weird. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to configure Confirm that and then we're just gonna swipe back and the only other thing that you need to change is in gain and expo and we're gonna turn off M altitude limit <laughs> and it's gonna give us another warning because again it doesn't really want you to fly in this mode if you are a beginner I recommend flying an M attitude limit which 
basically, I'm gonna take these off for a second, which will basically like, it won't let your drone go past like these points. So you won't able to do full flips. It's almost like acro mode, but it's not like full acro mode, if that makes sense. So turning that off though, will allow you to control your entire roll, your tilt and you know, everything like that. So you will be able to be in full acro mode. So that's pretty much it. We're just gonna click confirm. And from there, that's pretty much it. You can get two fingers and tap on here to go back and then two fingers again, two fingers again, and then we can swipe and we are back. So from here we can take off, we can fly. And then from here, this mode now, because we changed our custom mode. So this button right here will change it into manual mode and you can see that the camera switches so sport mode switch it manual mode sport mode manual mode from here what i usually do to start my rotors you can change it to being a button that gets pressed but i will hold down on my joysticks and i'm not going to do it right now but that will start your rotors and that will allow you to start flying so that's pretty much it for setup if you want to be able to stabilize in gyro flow, there is one more setting that we need to change that I should probably mention here. And that is just going to settings, camera settings, and turning EIS off. And just doing that should allow you to film or to stabilize in real study. So that's pretty much it. Anyways, if you do have any more questions or if you do want to know how to actually mount your GoPro onto the Avada, I do have another video out talking about that. So please do either leave a comment or go check out that video um, and that should explain that. Either way, I think that's gonna be it for me. Again, any questions, please leave them down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. All right, peace.